I might ask for help and strength. I get my feet that told me so that I can be strong enough to walk and help my brethren, strong enough to help my sister. You understand? I need to be strong so I can help my people, not so that I can just be strong for myself. And this is the example. I use myself as an example. As soon as this man can teach man how to pray, I'll tell you who I am. I am the son of a son of a son of a slave. And I am also the son of the son of a son of a great king and a great queen. So I am not me, I am my ancestors living and I am my children yet to be born. Because I understand the purpose of Rasa this generation is to lead people out of Babylon, lead them to Holy Mount Zion, to word shown in power, to food, to health, to celebration, to the arts that the African brought to the world. We brought celebration and joy to the world. We must not be ashamed of what we brought to the world. Many things that we have brought to the world have been robbed and stolen or borrowed by other nations, but they belong to us. Now is the time for us to get these things back. So, in the ancient line, which I will share this with you, the prayer that I have learned, that I went to Ethiopia. Um, by the way, I'll just tell you who I am. I am Philaya Haile Israel. I was born Philip Lee Brown. I used to think I was from Chicago. I was born in Illinois, but when my parents died, my mother died, I realized my ancestor was Panama. I was actually born in Panama. I brought to America as a young youth. I raised to be a black American, Negro, you understand? But I learned at a very early age that life was not for me. Four seasons, I couldn't deal with the cold. Um, most of my friends were thieves and they wanted to go out and steal because in America, you need money for everything. So at a young age, these guys want to go out around grocery store, snatch people's purses, and I wasn't into that. So I was a bad boy in school. I got sent to Panama. That was my punishment. Send him back to Panama, back to the bush. That was the best thing they could have done to me. <laughs> and through that, I learned my West Indian and African culture. And I embraced the Ethiopian church was faith, not necessarily to They're not serving God. Because a lot of them are afraid to mention his name. All of them are afraid to acknowledge Emperor Haile Selassie was crowned in the presence of the world community, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, conquering line of Judah, elect of God, not elect of himself, mind Elect of God, El Ruti Xavier is the term. Burhani Salam, light of peace. Burhani Olam, light of this world. Gilmore Kitaboy Haile Selassie. And Itadio, Menin, Empress Menin, Aspa. She comes from an Islamic background. And I used to ask to come from the Judeo-Christian background. But we are all Abraham's children. So we don't need to fight Muslim or Islam. We need to and Christian. We need to unite in this true, black, loving, African ancestral worship, which they call religion. Because we are calling our ancestors through the ways that we know, through the ancient words. Amen. This word is over 74,000 years old. It was uttered to a sorrow set in hell. It was uttered right straight through. It's in the book of Genesis, and you'll see it in the, at the very last word in the book of Revelation. Amen. It is used as an adjective all throughout the Bible, other than in Revelation chapter 3 and verse 14. Amen becomes a person. This is the name that Christ himself gave to himself. You can check it for yourself. He said, these things say the amen, the faithful and true witness. So we know Christ gave himself a new name. It's written. And this is why we want to study to show ourselves the truth. And then Friday, Selassie went to Jamaica. Tomorrow will be our anniversary. He saw the love that he would receive as a gay. He'd never received a greeting like this even in Ethiopia. He went in the back of the airplane and cried for 20 minutes. They called for Mortimer Planner from the hospital, who was in the hospital. They brought him to the stairs of the airplane. And he couldn't talk. And Friday, Selassie squeezed him right here. And a big boy supporting my plan of house came up and he told him, well, move, his majesty is here, you all might have seen this. But this is what happened before that. And from that, when they would also, you know, when the Rasses broke the barricade, I Selassie had to tell the pilot to knock off the engine because the Rasses get up under the plane, lighting each other, smoking her, the plane could have blown up. So there's a lot of things that happened when Emperor Ali Selassie came here. Because in 1962, we sent a delegation to Ethiopia. We want to know who we are. Are we Negroes? Are we Caribbeans? Are we West Indians? Are we Jamaicans? Are we? 
We come from some place in Africa, some nations. So we had a delegation go to five different places. And Ethiopia in particular were received graciously by Embryo Sassi. And the elders wisely asked him certain questions about Acts chapter 2. And he said, yes, it can be interpreted this way, that he is the Christ returned upon the throne of David. So we must know that we have clear signs, a straight path to Holy Mount Zion through the valley of the shadow of death, which is on planet Earth right now. A thousand fall at thy side, 10,000 at thy right hand, as it is said in Psalm, Psalm 91. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, so Rasta people, let us continue trotting. Whosoever will, let them come. And as I was about to share with you these ancient words, Amen means truly. As it was written, so it has been manifest. Verily, truly, Amen. Emaskanal, wolves, Amen, Tesquidus. That means giving glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Ethiopia, Menfeskidus means manifestation of spirit. Don't necessarily mean holy ghost or something like that. Manifest or manifest kiddos, it's holiness. The manifestation of holiness. That's what they call holy ghost in the West. But we simply call it the manifestation of holiness. When you do good things and people see you're doing good things, you become manifest kiddos, the manifestation of holiness. And this is the name that they gave me when I was baptized in the Orthodox Church. Lightning strike the church two times, me and Bongo head for walking to the church. And the priest come down off the altar and bring us straight up to the throne. So these are just some of the things I want to touch on. Um, who am I? Who is this man who's supposed to try and teach people how to pray? This is a part of my documentation I was given in Ethiopia. It says that this is the certified Elijah Hyde Israel. is authorized to function as ambassador, diplomat, and evangelist for the church in Columbus, Ohio, to act and represent on the church mission internationally on behalf of the Ethiopian Orthodox faith wherever deemed necessary. God bless you. Signed by the Mount Priest of the Zacharias. And it's from the World Center Patriarch in Kyo. So I am officially an evangelist. I would like to eventually teach you. This is called um, Mesmer. If you ever go to the Orthodox Church, it's the last thing they sing after church is over. Abat Ateno Ye Yemet Nor SMI. And it's the same, Our Father Prayer, but it's just singing it. Our Father which art in heaven, Jehovah, Holy One. Hallowed be thy name. Hallelujah. They take these things up, but we have to add them. Men Gushatemta, the kingdom is coming. Fakali Besaman the Holy Ten of soon. As it is in heaven, it must be on earth. Elet in Jarat and Set in Zarik. Every day we ask for our daily bread. It did not tell an carefully. Nyanja Bilumin. Please learn to forgive us as we learn to forgive those who are trespassed against us. I bet when if it did not talk about it, a pakula then a menji. Please. Do not lead us into evil, but forgive us of all our trespasses. For thine is the kingdom and power and glory. And Gushyant in Athena, Ael, Maskar, Bezilahi, Amen. Hallelujah, Rastafari, Amen, Amen. And this is how the Christ taught us how to pray. It has a format. First of all, about that in Holy Bessimaya Matina, who are we talking to? Our Father in heaven who liveth forever. Semi Yakodesh, the name of Yahweh is holy. This is what they took out because they want to call him Lord and God and Jesus and everything else. We're talking about Yahweh, which is ancient Tahuti, our ancient African gods. But when this brother Eber, where the word Hebrew comes from, came out of Africa trying to share this religion, just like myself, as an evangelist, he was always beat down in the land of Canaan, in the Middle East, in Syria. Every time the Eber, the Hebrew, come try to share this great African ancestor worship with the world, they beat him down. He ends up having to run back into Africa. And this has gone on for centuries, centuries and centuries. What is the love that we have in our heart? We want to heal the world. Mankind will come and go, but this earth will be here. The earth has not sinned against God. But man sinned against God. So we want to repent of anything we've done wrong. Bring our petition to the Almighty, which is prayer. And then... We meditate and go about as if this prayer is going to be answered. So if we right now want a prayer to get rid of the coronavirus, I don't think that prayer would be answered because Babylon has more viruses they can put out on us. The revelations say there's more plagues to be poured out on the earth. So I think the prayer would be to protect us in these times, to protect our loved ones, 
that we may go through and find what is the will of the Almighty God. And this is where meditation comes in, because if we take time and meditate and listen to the voice of the, that voice will tell us what to do. There's a voice inside of all of us that tells us right from wrong. So we must learn that. And in parting, I will say, Lord, that is the team. I would like for you all to know and understand that there are things that we must do to heal ourselves. As the great herbalist Ross body will show you, and the great brother Vasily will show you how to cook and prepare foods to make yourself healthy. Eat yourself healthy. And then Rasta Nayar will tell you about the musical vibrations that can come through your words on and power to heal you. Bob Marley says something over 20 years ago. There's a natural mystic going to the air. If you listen carefully, you will hear it. It could be the first trumpet, it might as well be the last. Many more will have to suffer, many more will have to die. Don't ask me about it. So let the words of Ayana Moth and meditation by heart be accepted with nice sight. Jah, cross the far eye, Lord, our strength. Thank you. So we're listening to so let's start. And um, Max up. Um, mm-hmm. Move to your right. The whole team. Oh, oh, we are another team. Just want to cheat it. Yeah. So give thanks, you know, so here we are once again continuing the work, you know, the work of Rastafari to the nation, you know, so at this, uh, so previously we just, um, we just listened to um, Haile Israel with his, um, with his program called Prayer and His Reception, you know, give thanks, give thanks to the spiritual word, you know, from the elder, and all of what was said, you know, we very, very, very thankful. So we want to continue on because what's happening is that a lot of people fearful, fearful of the coronavirus and um, what's happening and, you know, but no one is talking about this kind of knowledge and this type of spirituality. So this is our responsibility to bring this knowledge forward so that the people may apply it to their lives. You know, so give thanks for your patience and your overstanding uh, with our technical difficulties earlier. Those of you that are on YouTube, and um, for those of you that are on Facebook at the moment, thank you for actually joining in. You know, we give thanks and praise. So um, next, our next presenter will be um, one of the, um, the healers from our region, the Caribbean region, and also my father, uh, also a herbalist for the last 41 years. And, uh, you know, basically he's also the... Uh, the CEO and the owner of, of Rask Bobby Herbal Products LLC, also the, the chairman for the, the Health and Nutrition Committee for the Caribbean Rastafari Organization, and also he's part of the Indigenous Healers Collective here in the Virgin Islands. 
Um, I present to the people, I present to the world, you know, my father and also um, one of our blessed elders in, in this part of the world, um, reminding us of the power of our plant friends, as you can see here, Ras Bobby, the Caribbean Herbals. Ras Bobby, the Caribbean Herbals. Give thanks. Yes, good evening. Yes, thanks, my sister Tammy. Thanks to Nyora for introducing me, and thanks to the total ITAL group. It's nice to be around such um, spiritual folks. And at this time, it's just, you know, the opportunity to share information that our life has prepared us to do for a long time, you know. So, uh, we are at a very serious juncture in our life. I think we, this is revelation time. Um, they have a plan for us. And they give us that the plan come right at the beginning of the age of Aquarius. They think we don't know what we know. So we've come out of the age of Pisces and we're now into the age of Aquarius. And every time a new age come, the consciousness keeps come, has, has to keep flowing. Because no matter what they say, coronavirus or coronavirus, no, we have a work to do. And the work that we have to do is to serve our Creator. So we're on the planet to serve Jah. We cannot forget that. But that has to do, my brothers and sisters, about a way of life. Is how we live our life. Because the topic for me tonight is a natural healer's response to the coronavirus. So we say I represent the Rastafari movement of St. Thomas because we're doing this in St. Thomas right now. But at the same time, I go to many, I, I, I say I used to go because in a month the whole thing changed, everything changed. So I used to go to the Caribbean islands sharing such information to you. So much of the information you'll hear tonight, if you've been following me, it's stuff that we're going to be talking about tonight again because the, 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 the message is the same. The problem is a lack of connection with spirit and we're eating too much starch and they're eating too much flesh and this is the cause of the mucus. Because they're talking about coronavirus, all I'm hearing about is some mucus. Mucus in the lungs and mucus and liquid in the lungs and you get it stifled. So I say, irrespective of what virus or viruses come around, and we're very, very suspicious about them. A year ago it was chicken gone, yeah. A year before that it was SARS. A couple of years before that it was HIV and AIDS. And sometime around that it was Ebola. And now it's the coronavirus. And Babylon have a plan, and the plan is to vaccinate you. And what is the problem with the vaccination? Is the mark of the beast they want to put on you. So we say in their way of life is a way of life which is beast. The life of a beast. And the mark is for them to put chips in you with all your information. They want to listen to your every information at the same time. So what are they scared of? It's so amazing. They say that there's some virus they create in some lab somewhere. Americans blaming Chinese. Chinese blaming Americans. They say they're swapping such disease to one another. To fight who? To fight humanity. Oh, what a wicked act. So we have to respond, respond to this. So naturally we have to be careful. So as a result of that, I find it necessary to go and share information to as many people as possible. 
And not, not just because we want to be popular or we want to be famous, because being popular and famous in the realm of the work that we do is a very dangerous thing as we go along. But as spiritualists, we know that the Most High will take care of us. Once we're right, we'll be all right. And as a result of that, we find it necessary to share some crucial information to you. As a natural healer, the first thing is to prevent. So there's something I have on my table here. We cut onions and we spread it, put it in different rooms in the house. So we have a plate for every piece of onion we cut and we put it in the rooms in the house. So if there is any virus in the house, the onion becomes the host because every virus needs a host. So instead of you becoming the host, you give the virus of viruses, the onion to deal with the host, and they've proven it. There have been certain areas in the world where disease all, all around as a result of viruses, and when they spread the onion around the place, they can look at the onion under a microscope afterwards and actually see the virus in the onion. So that is something you can do to prevent. It's an ancient African tradition that we burn incense. <coughs> Like a while ago, we were born in frankincense. Or we want to burn mist. Or we want to burn sage. All these herbs. This is aromatherapy. You kill viruses like that. You take orange peel. You take lemon grass. You boil them. Ginger. Yes, you boil lemon grass and you inhale it. So you put the, the peppermint oil in some hot water. And when it stings out, you put your head over the water and you inhale. So maybe you can do some of this first thing in the morning. Now it's not time to worry too much about eating. See people going in every supermarket now, emptying supermarket because they're panicking. Now it's time to pray and to fast. When you fast, as soon as you begin to fast, your body starts cleaning. So you fasting and you drinking bush tea. So we want to drink bush tea to, that we fight viruses with. And we want to use bush tea to clean the blood. And we want to use bush tea to strengthen our digestive system. So this is the practical and pragmatic response that I and I Rastafari I have towards the coronavirus. So I have a set of things on the table and I will quickly deal with them. But these that I have on the table today are mostly herbs that you use to make tea, to fight cold, tea, to fight fever, tea, to clean the bloodstream and tea to strengthen your digestive system. The first herb Savi show us in Dominica is this herb here. This herb is called Wari Wine in St. Thomas. In Dominica, we call it Vemen Latiewat. You use the leaves of it to make tea. You boil the water and you use like nine leaves of this herb and you make tea with it. So first thing in the morning could be some veve latte water. What the veve latte water is for? To clean the blood, to fight fevers, to deal with colds and cough. Colds is mucus. The problem that we're dealing with is mucus. Mucus in your lung. They call it asthma, mucus in your lung, they call it COVID-19 or some other virus or some asthma, some influenza. It's so funny that the COVID virus starts increase and the influenza and cold starts decrease. So everything you get now, once it's cold, they say it's coronavirus. But anyway, it's mucus and it's mucus we fight it. 
The mucus, where does the mucus come from? The mucus come from the food we eat and we eat in too much starch and we eat in too much flesh. That is where the mucus is coming from. So we have to stay away from the starch and stay away from the flesh. And eat a lot of fruits, lots of vegetables. This herb here is called neem. So to respond to the virus, we drink neem tea. We drink it often. Some of you will freak out and say, but this thing is too bitter. Yeah, but the bitterness in the name, we put it in a product we have here called immune bitters, immunity bitters. We put it together with a group called Kwasia Sumaoba for the immune system. This herb our culture have used that as an antiviral agent from time immemorial. This is antiviral, anti-germicidal, antibacterial, and anti-malarial. As the Africans call this. Again, you boil some water, use about nine leaves of this. So if you want to be technical, use about a tablespoon of this. If you find it's too bitter, dilute it with a little more water and drink it regularly. So this has many other properties, including properties to stimulate the liver, which is the organ of digestion. Because if you have powerful digestive juices, the digestive juices will kill the viruses. So neem is antiviral, powerful for the immune system. This herb here is called tobacco. Rasta people and other people stop smoking this tobacco. But you can use this tobacco to remove mucus. In case of somebody who have issues that with a lot of mucus in their lungs, you can make tea with a leaf of this lobelia. This is tobacco. So you make tea with lobelia if you have problems with your lungs. You put cayenne pepper in there as hot as you can take it. And then you drink this. This is called cuqueed. This will induce vomiting. So it will cause you to vomit. And in that way, you'll be removing mucus. It is good for many other things. But we're talking about that today. We're basically talking about foods, herbs that you can use to deal with mucus issues and to deal with fevers and to deal with the liver. This herb here is called Moringa. Moringa has many, most minerals in, um, almost all the minerals that your body has is in Moringa. But Moringa is high in vitamin C, calcium. Moringa is also high in iron. Iron facilitates or calcium facilitates the absorption of iron. So making tea with that gives you vitamin C that your body needs every day. And in the presence of vitamin C, enough vitamin C in your body, viruses run from you. You see, this sugar is a problem. Stay away from the sugar. So you make tea with moringa. You can put moringa in vegetable juices, my brothers and sisters. <clears throat> We have vegetable juices here. Instead of drinking soda, instead of drinking malt and beer, we make vegetable juices with those herbs. I suspect my brother Bassa will be demonstrating exactly how to make it um, a little later. But I have a couple plates there of what we use to make those teas, those juices. So we call it green drink. This is asparagus, this is chives, this is ginger, this is onion, a fantastic vegetable juice for the removal of mucus, my brothers and sisters. Chives will kill infections, kill viruses also. Asparagus, good to clean the kidney, you need to clean your kidney when treating conditions like that. The onion is antibiotic and anti-mucus. This in itself, because it is an alkaline vegetable juice combination, it will naturally remove mucus. Put an organic apple in it to make it more palatable. This one here is called a chlorophyll drink. We take herbs like spinach, collard greens. We take what we call cochlea, which in Patwa we call Zeb with a little turmeric, 
So this one had ginger. This one we use turmeric here. So turmeric, spinach, lettuce. Again, you can put moringa in here. And this is the technique, the indigenous vibes that we have to forward here right now. This herb is called kojo, Congo root. In Jamaica, they call it guinea hen weed. You can take those herbs indigenous to these islands and put them in your vegetable juices too. So you get a more powerful, rutical, total, ital combination, the idea. This has been used by our ancestors from time immemorial for killing viruses, for treating fevers. Lemongrass is another one. You know, so keep up papaya leaves. In treating dengue, we use papaya leaves for killing bacteria, for killing germs. Make tea with papaya leaves. Again, you can put your ginger and your moringa. But as you will observe, we're using ginger and moringa in the vegetable juices also. So we're blending the vegetables with the ginger and the moringa to make the chlorophyll drink because you need chlorophyll to fight viruses. Other than, than the building of um, proper dimensional pyramids to allay the, the amount of radiation that is dispersed in a, in a certain area, chlorophyll is the most powerful thing. In addition to the chlorophyll, strengthening the immune system stimulates the pineal gland. The pineal gland is the master gland. It controls everything. This herb here, Coralita, is all over the Virgin Islands, all over the Caribbean. The flowers of this is excellent for removing coughs and colds and flus. The leaves of it is excellent for the liver. Again, you can use it with some cinnamon or some ginger in, in making um, um, herbs, um, um, teas. This one is called Man Better Man, again antiviral, good for internal poisoning. You make tea with this. You may want to use some thyme tea. Thyme is another excellent herb, my brothers and sisters, for coughs and colds. We have the tiny thyme, and we have the ticky thyme, which is the very thick thyme. All thymes are good for coughs. I cannot finish this presentation if I do talk a little bit about breathing exercises. And instead of just talking about it, I want to demonstrate it. When you get up in the morning, do breathing exercises and pray. Take a deep breath. And breathe out. So you breathe out in slow motion. And repeat your affirmations. I am relaxed. So help me, Jack. You maybe want to do that 10 or 12 times back to back. And then you breathe out. Pray for protection. I am protected, so help me, Jah. Say those words in authority, my brothers, or with authority, and take a deep breath. If you have mucus in your lungs, you will take it out. Again, do this a, a dozen times. And finally, you may want to say the final prayer. I am healed, so help me, Jah. Take a deep breath. And that you can say a dozen times. When you get up in the morning, don't look at the bad news about coronavirus. Get into yourself. Take some deep breaths. Because as soon as you take a deep breath, your mind is on you, my brothers and sisters. So it's a lot that is to be said. A little time, but as we go along, we shall maintain the relationship and to keep sharing as total representatives of the Most High through this beautiful movement called Total Aita. Eliai, Selassia. Eliai, Selassia. Eliai, Selassia. Ja, Rastafa.
Yes, so what we are going to do now is take a three to four minute intermission um, before our next presenter. So we will be playing some music at this time and then also we will actually um, uh, set up for our next presenter, Ambassador Seven. All right? Yeah, ma'am. This is the back to where it's supposed to be. Uh, and my nose seems far, okay? And let me, let me at least put the AC on. To get to the at least get some air in the nose. Let me put this off in the next. Put this off in the next. Put this off in the
Greetings to the Earth, greetings to our Virgin Islands community, greetings to Africa, greetings to our ones of consciousness striving to do the best that they can at this time. During this critical moment in time, you know, give thanks to all people that love and protect the Earth, give thanks to those that respect other human beings at this moment in time. And so far, you know, the Total ITAL webinar has been wonderful. Um, we have already had presentations by Brother Haile Israel, right, on prayer and its reception. Very, very, very powerful, very powerful presentation, you know, as to why it is important to pray, which is the first thing every morning, and, you know, even before you rest your head. Critical, critical, give thanks to that. You know. And then we also have Ras Babi Dali, you know, the um, Caribbean herbalist, with a, a great presentation on, of, of herbs, and deep breathing that you can utilize to keep yourself calm and healthy and your immune system up at this time. So give thanks to that as well. So at this moment in time, I would like to introduce to the nation, to the world, Ambassador Seven from the Ethiopia African Black International Congress, right, Bobo Ashanti, give thanks. And because this is for all races, because this means we have no time for separation. All houses gather when it comes to dealing with uh, you know, Satan and his forces. So here we are basically at this critical moment in time coming to give a positive presentation about um, basically um, reciprocal healing, mind, body, and soul, right, and spirit, and also the foods, critical foods, you know, like, like the millet green, you know, that you can consume during these times to give yourself energy and protein. Give thanks, Ambassador said. One love, the Father. Love. Greetings, greetings in the name of the Most High, in the name of the Father, the Mother, the Son, and unto the Holy One of creation. I pray that we make it, we clothe the sick, nourish, the age protected, and the infant scared for. And that the Most High deliver us from the hands of our enemies, that we may be prove fruitful for in these last days. We give thanks here, totally vital. Yes, truly. We give thanks for the presence of our elders, Ras Haile. We give thanks for Annabel Ras Babi, our Hypis Herbalist. We give thanks for everyone present who is even tuning in at this moment. You know, giving us a listening ear for what the eyes see, the heart know. And what the ears hear, the heart know it also. Today, I, Ras Bassa, from the Ethiopian African Black International Congress Church, come to also present you with some ways and means in this revolution. It's a food revolution, economical revolution, spiritual revolution, and a mental revolution. And this is a way that we can liberate ourselves as well. We can't just liberate ourselves only within the strength, but we do it as well in action. We do this through speedy redemption. Many of you may not speedy redemption what was formerly called Fortress Storage Mall, now it's called Prime Storage, right across from my dear beloved Ella Raspadi's purple shop as well. In my engagement with Raspadi and his family over the many years, they have been a great inspiration to me. His son, Nayora, and me have been blessed brethren for many years and have always had great inspiration, reason, and, you know, we built on a lot of things, you know. And we could remember the days when we sat in the living room and in the house and we just thought, we created thoughts and we created ideas and we said, we're going to do these healing symposiums and we're going to do these things. And Nayora took on the courage in itself to bring these things to our community, not once, not twice, but three times and more. We give thanks for this family, you know, because they have been sharing with our community over the many years, many practical uses of herbs. And not only that, but along with the spiritual uses and the music as well. Speedy Redemption is a venture that was built to that same foundation of sitting in with Rasman, the same healers collective, uh, life war promotion, and uh, along with Ben Kemesh Records, which is Nayora's you know, uh, venture as well. And we had a lot of many reasons. May Rasmalak, our dear beloved brethren as well, would have been here today as last body reminded me as an inspiration and standing here with us, long live our bridge in the spirit of Rasmala as well. In Speedy Redemption Venture, 
it was not only just something we did based on business. It was something that we used to do in our household for our family and for our children, you know. And uh, in these things, you know, being that we live a Rastafarian life and we don't eat meat and, you know, we don't eat Cheetos and, you know, these junk foods and so forth, we had to find ways to create meals for our families that would fill them, would be nourishing, you know, um, healthy, you know. And in doing these things here, we created speed redemption because we know to ourselves that what you don't want for yourself, you can't want for someone else. So in, in the creating the meals that we did for speedy redemption, we decided we're gonna leave out the acidic foods, we're gonna include more alkaline meals, we're gonna leave out uh, you know the dairy products and stuff like this, we're gonna leave out the chunks and the tofu and all those overprocessed things. And we're gonna stick to our survival foods, you know, the lentils, the millet, the spelt, you know, the quinoa, the grains, you know. And we realized that in doing this, we created something that the community grasped, and we are very thankful for that. Because we know that in this time, you know, that we are living in, you know, we have to have something to share with our community. So we decided to share what we did in our household. We give thanks for the opportunity to be here tonight in the presence of many spiritual, conscious-minded ones, who is a conscious collective in our community here in St. Thomas. We inspire each other day by day. We have deep reasonings and conversations towards how we protect our community. And in these communications, we as Rastafari seek better ways to uplift ourselves and people. In doing such, we are not extremists. You know, I know many people hear us as the Rastafarians burn fire from long time and tell the people eat better. Find better ways and means to doing things. Seek ways in order to understand yourself. Pray and meditate. You see, these were the things that was the foundation of Rastafari from time immemorial. Even growing up as a Rastafarian child in a household where my both parents were Rastafarian, and I was born into Rastafari life in the year of 1976. This life that I'm speaking about is a life where we just live naturally. Just wake up in the morning and go and pick some locusts and swim in the ocean, drink some fresh water, and give thanks and praises unto the most high. Can we understand that in a time we're living in, you know, there are going to be more seller and buyer, you know, and there will come a time when money can't value life and you can't buy nothing with money. You see, what do you have to give to your community is the question. If you come to me with a Louis Vuitton bag and your Gucci shoes, me want it because there's nothing of value for that in these days. People stack up a lot of vanity and material during times, and they were not moving like the ants who was, what is it, preserve yourself, you know? And these are the things that we realize now today. The flat screen TV, the plasma TV, that's sucking out all your energy and so Every time you watch it and so you're just being plagiarized every time your own culture, you know? And they are just pumping all these messages in your head about what to eat and how to eat all this commercial with fast food and quick food and dead food, you know? So here it is, we have the Ethiopian millet grain before us, which is a wonderful food. A food that I think everyone can enjoy. The first thing is it's gluten-free. You see what I'm saying? And with it being gluten-free, we know that there's people who are weak intolerant and can't deal with wheat and all these type of things. So for those type of people, it's a really excellent meal. It could be used as a substitute and the rice too, because some people are so used to the rice, you know. That the rice now just full up their body with a whole heap of starch and bad starch, what they don't really need, you know? And they get accustomed to starchy meals. So you can look at raspberries, herbal list, the do's and the don'ts. And millet is there as an alkaline food, which is an excellent food that is filled with a lot of vitamins and nutrients for the goody, you know? So the goody can function properly, you see? So we give thanks and praises for this ancient grain. We give thanks for the spices that we have here. We have here some pan salt, you know, straight from St. John, right out of the earth, you know. Yes, not processed by the hands of man, you know. Every year the harvest is salt straight from the earth. These are things that we can use in our life today that is full with minerals, magnesium, zinc, copper. We have the nutmeg, which is a blessed spice. Herb, you know, nutmeg is good for the lungs as well, too, you know what I'm saying? More times, the people run and jab and then take 
into the mouth, you know, you're sucking under the tongue. And then people are that breathing issues and so on, two asthmatic problems and so on. Last Rashad, you know, my dear beloved brother from African Sun Dial as well, you know, has a documentation proving the evidence of this. You have the belief in you know, being able to break gas in your system and all these things, you know. We give thanks for these herbs, we gotta go here local. We have our cinnamon stick spice bath as well, too, you know. You know, the spice bath comes from DA and St. Lucia and Grenada, you know, some of the best in the world, you know. And I'm going to display these things here and show them to you. We have also the cinnamon powder again, which comes from the Options, you know your options. Um, 
we also have here some coconut water. I guess I'm putting it. Yes. Coconut water, that's a little bit of it. Now we have to create our own ways of doing things. And we have to say, no, I'm fine. Let's do it as we see. Let's do it as we see. We must say Christ tell us you know that we see that and come and come go. We are the Ethiopian nation, you know, we deal with honey, dead wine and bees, you know. When you see the bees come around on the stage, we are bringing you a message. We thanks for this beautiful honey. Use some ancient chemically in preserved bodies that have been up to 15,000 years preserved. And males and hair are still intact. Yet today, when the very man, three weeks, man, they can't be dead. Okay? Everything we have on our sources for healing, we have some money to use. So it's a blender, bro. Yes. Yes, ninja, ninja. Right, so after you blend it now, there's many ways you could utilize it. You can have it maybe thicker if you want to have it thicker like some oats so or maybe how you could create something like that, but you could also have it in a drinkable form. You could also could garnish it a little bit with some cranberries, maybe blueberries even. It then makes it more delicious, you know? The times and places continually for the most time. You know? That's the matter. And in the courage, because that whole thing for the whole family, you know? It's a sustainable food, man. Why we bring in this to the table today is because we really want the people to understand that these are the grains that we are going to need in these times for I and I to sustain ourselves, sustain our families. We may need them even in the bulk. It's the same way the scripture says, go and get the young people, make it, the step. You know, get the whole wheat grain, you see? And yes, put it in the vessel and make bread of it. And eat it for 290 days. And we are on the you know? This is fascinating. We are an Ethiopian nation at this time. In the year of 1935, Mussolini invaded the Italian invasion in Ethiopia. You see, Ethiopians are fasting for 40 days and 40 nights as we approach the same corona. You see, on February 10th, there was a corona ring around the sun. You see all the signs, you know, my people. It's for us to read the signs, right? So here it is. We know that it's a revolution. It's a revolution in how you're thinking and the education that you're receiving. A revolution as well in the food that you eat as well too. And start to reclaim yourself. When we say speedy redemption is because it's a speedy redemption time. It's no time to loaf and no time to waste. When you don't want for yourself, you cannot want it for others. So we've decided to just live the simple life. Use the simple things that the most are giving us that are not classes. Turn them into foods that we create our own selves. Some burgers, dehydrated, non cooked, non processed, dairy products, you know, cheesecake, and these things, cashew, and millet, and so forth. These are the things that we create as we redemption. We give thanks for our brethren in Iowa, we give thanks for our brethren as well. Also, for you, community, giving us the opportunity to do the things that we've been doing. And to keep us strong as well as a family. We give thanks for everyone that is listening at this time. We pray that you know we've reached you in some sort of a way, conscious minds, that the item may see that these are things that the item can do on a day-to-day basis in the item own life, you know. This might be a simple thing, but the simple life is the best life, you know. Yes, you may not have a pocket full of money, you may not have gold and rubies and diamonds. But as long as you have a spirit within yourself and you reach within knowledge and truth, you can share that with someone else, you know. 
the thing about life is to be a giver and not a taker, you know. And this is what we're saying right now. We're here to give. We're seeing that is what we've been working and doing from time before, and that is what our job is right now. We give thanks for as well as, you know, giving and receiving. Like it says that you will give much, you know, more times they require much from the same. We give thanks for the high priest, Ella, for our preaching and our assistance out there at this time. And we pray for peace and safety out there for you all. Keep yourself healthy. Build up your temple and your community and your structure. Eat the right foods. Drink the right drinks. Watch the right programs, television, things. Watch the right things, your culture, and about your divinity and about yourself. Listen to the right music. These things are entered into your temple. The seven seals, two eyes, two nose, mouth, and two ears. Right in your face. These things cannot enter your body if you don't let it enter the seven holes, as well as the anus, and that's all reproductive. Keep them virus and then back this out of the temple. The way you think will bring these things and attract them to you as well. If you're down and depressed every day and you don't know what to do, then you have to reach someone. You have to reach ones in your community that have consciousness within them. Seek for help. And there are others out there as well, too. That's why we're here to share this with you all here tonight. As they say, we're practicing social distancing. But we give thanks for our unity and our love that the most have given us. That water could separate man and woman, land, but we can't separate us. Give thanks and praise for the moment divine and blessed beloved community in the name of I'm use this table. So let's let's actually take my items off the table. So if you want to insist on the matter as well, I'm going to bring them all Those of you that are still tuned in, give thanks to Yaman, you know, the total item. Um, webinar is really, you know, yes. taken off today, 420. Thanks to those of you tuning in. That was my segment, so bring it a little closer to the item. Okay. So we're going to have about a two to three minute intermission, okay? How sweet life could be if we were moving together in a positive. If it don't have the way, mostly moving in a negative. Life is a journey. Life is a journey. Yes, Life is a journey. And we're going for a ride. Everyone ought to live. Righteous, living for the king of kings. You got to eat right and drink right and live all right. Travel will guide you and protect you from everything. Life is a journey. Life is a journey. It's a life is a journey. Here we go for a ride. Just a little
How sweet this life will be. We will move together in the identity of the power is a king of kings. And he has the last year, the power of the Trinity. Life is a journey. Life is a journey. Life is a Thanks and praise you know, to the Almighty Creator this moment in time. Once again, this is Nayora, and this is my segment um, of this uh, wonderful program. And um, I'm basically here to talk about the, the healing power of song lyrics. Right? So, from since I knew myself, I have known that it's. Um, it is of such importance that the African man and woman utilize song in their daily life for you know improving their situation and just to stay in tune with spirit and spiritual environment. We stand together as African people and we sing and we utilize the drum and we utilize certain frequencies in nature so that we can activate certain portals within ourselves and certain dimensions. Um, we also realize that throughout the process of time that um, music plays a very um, important role and it's very influential to um, the brothers of this younger generation, brothers and sisters of this younger generation. Um, you find that um, you know, children from ages 14 all the way up to um, 21, that particular age group, they are highly influenced by, you know, by music. So, if you look, take a look at the mainstream and what is being pushed out there in terms of the music, that has a direct impact of, uh, as to what happens out there on the streets. Brothers see a thug image on television, and if he sees that thuggish image um, often enough, most likely he will embrace that kind of energy. So we say that it's important for us as, as, as reggae artists, as, as messengers of the Creator to write and produce songs that inspire people to do good things, um, inspire the nation to pursue something more um, logical, more spiritually tangible, so it can be utilized um, throughout the life of the individual. We see that music raises you know, raises the energy of the Kundalini. You know, we realize that dancing and music, you know, and the twisting and the bending of the spine, you know, activates something within the human being. We realize that we just don't have one body, but we have, there are many bodies within this body, you know, because I, I can't see the cell as something that's not within. You know, there are so many cells within our temple, so, the, the, so many cells create the galaxy, right? So, Everything in creation is linked, right? Once again, the music has direct impact on the younger generation. So, when we write music as artists, we can sit back and really watch how that music is able to influence the actions of another human. I'm going to give you an example. My, one of my favorite, um, I, I have five favorites in terms of um, artists. Uh, I love all conscious, you know, all conscious human beings that actually try their best to create words, sound, and power that motivates. But as for I and I, Bob Marley, 
right? It's really who started that fire, man. Just his songs and, you know, the way he sang, and you could tell that it was really coming from within. You know, he was genuine about what he sang. And uh, so that was, that's Bob Marley. Um, another one of my musical inspirations is actually uh, Lauren Hill. You know, I really, really got the sister and uh, a musical a musical power, a melody riffs, how she's able to captivate and capture the audience with a clear message. Um, also, I love um, Desiree. Desiree is one of my favorite artists. Um, Lucky Doobie, okay? And also Damien Marley. So, those four artists were, were great inspirations to me. And of course, I can't forget Bernie Spear. Bernie Spear is, is, is one of the great foundation um, artists in this world. But again, these, these human beings are way more than artists. They are messengers because instead of seeing negative lyrics, they chose to say something positive. And for me personally, those lyrics still live on. And those lyrics will always live on. And if these are songs that I can pass on to my children and it will inspire them and you know, keep them strong upon their journey as well. All right? So, I am here to actually just continue to remind, not just the general population, um, as to what kind of music they should listen to, but also, once again, the artist and the value in creating something substantial. For the younger generation, even you know the the elders, there are times when the elders, after they don't go through struggle already, they just want to listen to something easy and something pleasant. So why not do that for them? Why not create that peace and joy after they have put their life forward? For us, as a younger generation, to make sure that we do the right things, to make sure that we live, you know, under the principles of Mahat, to make sure that we continue to strive for the glorious, you know, the glorious rise within ourselves. You know. Um, what, how, when was this thing called a song created? How do we get inspired to write positive songs? What I can tell you, one is from life experience. Two is from the experience of others. Three is also from the, also from what you see in the world as fact and reality, right? There's a matrix. The matrix or the mainstream pushes a kind of message because I feel that um, there may be some people that want to subdue and keep the powers of, of those royal, beautiful people at bay. Because, like his Imperial Majesty said, like Rastafari said, we must live like the ants. Okay, and music, like for instance, you know, you like you go to a concert, right? And there's a, a, a very good artist on stage. And that energy, sometimes you can feel as though you're, 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 you're really literally, even if you're on earth on a physical plane, you feel as though you actually tap into what heaven really is. Okay? And this is the power. And we as artists, just you know, performing in front of um, large crowds in you know, many places on earth, I feel that connection sometimes. You know, when you sing a song, and, and, and the melody is a certain way, and the riff is a certain way, and the bass line drops a certain way. It does something you know, to the octave, you know, to the chakras. You know? Um, and, and at that moment in time, right, you can take a group of people, right, to the power of connecting via music. You can inspire them. If you catch, if you catch that, that peak, that peak of love and that energetic peak, that's the time when you should actually sing your most critical songs or get a certain type of message forward to the people at that time. So we at the um, Total Ital Collective, um, you know, just the variation of energies is really what's important. Just the variation of energies is really what's key. You know, you have, you know, you have, um, you know, Brother Haile Israel, who speaks on, on prayer and its reception, and how powerful and how prayer should be the foundation, understanding that we have, our ancestors have a name for the Creator, you know, and, and, and that, that in every generation, right, a, a, a God man, a perfect man comes to earth to be an example to that generation, right? So it's imperative that we pay attention to the signs, right? 
and what's what's in the cosmos and apply the lyrics necessary for this. It's imperative, it's key. Okay, so stay focused, stay strong, and always tap into conscious music, whether you wanna you know you wanna tap into some Midnight, you know, you want to tap into some batch, you want to tap into some pressure plus five, you, know, you want to tap into some green, you know, you want to tap into some, you know, keep on tapping in, you know. So, as you go through this stressful experience with this um, so called virus, uh, you know, you can tap out. So, you can be in the world but not of the world, and you can travel dimensions. Um, sometimes it's even good to go out in nature, you know. In, you know, amongst amongst the plants, you know, and feel the breeze and feel the energy. Anyway, there's a song of mine called Media Portrait. And so it's a song that I want to play, and it goes an explanation of these um, of what I'm trying to relate to the audience as to the power of of of, of lyrics and how through powerful lyrics the truth we, we release the truth. See, the devil always knows this. You know, the African, the African power is in the drums and in the singing and in the dance. This is how we activate our spiritual ancestors. Because when we do that, you now we activate in the centers of the spine, and that energy builds up, and then we are able to open up the pineal gland by movement and activation and energetics. See, so let me actually begin by playing this song called um, Media Poetry. And um, media poetry is a critical track of mine that I hold very dear to my heart because to me, media poetry. <laughs> So again, let me explain these lyrics to you, right? This song is called Media Portraits on my Rising Sun album. So those of you who haven't done the Rising Sun album, you need to go get it. Technological games, yeah, manipulating the planes, you know. Because what I realized with this um, so called virus is that the no all, no all and all is the media. All these screens throughout the earth influencing the people as to what is truth and what is not. See, so this is a critical tool of Satan that he uses to basically this. Um, basically pull out information that is not correct. See, I mean the media, the media, and sometimes, you know, the misinformation is the virus, in my opinion. See, um, and so you find that, 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 you know, a lot of the people, the money, I'm sure, on the back end is given to these houses to basically propagate sometimes um, stories that are not true. And the conscious community, is aware of this. See, at this moment in time, I'm not going to say what's true and what's not, but just know that the conscious community knows. And once the spiritual circle knows, then the rest of earth knows. Because we stay in one place and frequency travel. We don't need too many things. We don't need big instruments. We send forth the prayer and, the, and, and, and things are answered. So on the flip side, while you're hearing about the virus, we also realize that the people have time to rest and relax and really tap into the information and tap into the truth, right? So let me actually play, you know, the other part of this song as well. You see that? Visual shape our reality. If you want your youth to change, lock up the video games, right? Um, what I realized is that um, a lot of the brothers, you know, a lot of the young boys, instead of using their hands and going out to work and going out in you know, the field and 
and finding some kind of farming to do something positive, painting, uh, mechanics. They stay at home and they play video games and they actually become robots. See? They become robots. Um, their life becomes almost artificial in a sense because they're playing a game where, you know, the main character could switch and choose about 30 to 40 different guns. And all they're hearing every day, every, every single day is, is, is gunshots. Because now, of course, these video games are created with surround sound. So, you know, the shots sound more real. <laughs> this time. So they keep on using sound frequency against them. See? So again, visual shape, our reality. If you want to do for change, lock off the video games. Violence is the photographic mind and repeat. It desensitizes the brain and make you numb to all the play yeah, yeah. yeah, lie is what the media portray. Yeah, very authentic to way. Yeah, you know. So, violence is the photographic mind and repeat. Do you know that it is said that this is yearly now? Children that watch a whole bunch of television are bombarded with about 30,000 or more plus commercials. 30,000 plus commercials that are violent, sadistic, mean, crazy, weird. So the, this is the kind of human beings that will be created from these types of you know, energy. See? So it's imperative that we Always try to make sure whatever sound frequency travels to our homes, that is something positive that can inspire the children. For instance, you'll be surprised what just playing, you know, they are being music in the morning can do to a child, for a child, to wake up the drums, you know, and then pray, right? To wake up the sound frequency versus waking up to some kind of, uh, um, you know, some kind of weird kind of music. You know what I'm saying? So, um, as we proceed with this song, the Sometimes many of the happenings that you hear of throughout Earth right now, sometimes, you know, believe it or not, it's just, it actually boils down to just a lie, a devilish lie. Why would human beings want to control the world? Only one reason, that would be evil. Why would I want to actually try to control another human being? Millions and millions of people. Hmm? For what? That's why I respect, you know, certain artists that really are not afraid to speak the truth because it's imperative that we speak the truth in this time. This is a message coming straight from the indigenous world, see, straight to Babylon. Because word south is called. As I see love, may yeah, I say that. Babylon will not conquer. The people are brilliant and intelligent, and the people are what they say woke. This is not a joke. Remember. So go within your power. Sit within that power. And know that, that you are a wonderful, wonderful being created by the Almighty. And you are a beautiful being created by, by the Almighty. Yeah, man. And so here we are, you know, on this wonderful sea. I want to give the people something brand new, you know, because 
This is for the entire world, you know. And this this world is full of glorious people, and at this time, don't you fear, fear full, you fear less and fear less. Yeah. You are a beautiful soul. Just take one step at a time. In everything, God is in control. Just take one step at a time. You don't have to sell your soul for material gain. It will be rough sometimes, or many that way. As a spiritual test for you to see if you will pray. Just have some patience and all the way again. Yes, you can go with enough. That's the far right now. It's a beautiful time of creation. I just know this one more time. You are. A beautiful soul. Just take one step at a time. In everything, try to control. Just take one step at a time. The rain is my own swing. This creates bad business and destroy relationships, have patience and discipline with a whole bunch of love. Yes, if thanks and praise, you know, the total item, if thanks and praise, you know, the life and that's true. That's the fire, right? And before we seal up the vibes, I have to have. Please, you know, I lay his right on power and the seal of the team. See, elders first, elders last. Same so you full circle. And then must be done. First, you have to be in this wonderful company by him. So I said, it's a facility in the family that we get into the next dialogue. So we call my family. We are your family. So we must pray. We must ask. I want to receive. Want to be responsible for blessing them about the Lord. Amen. But they that trust in Jah as the fire shall be as Mount Zion, shall not be moved by the fire of God. As the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, so shall as the fire be going by the hand of the Lord. But the rather the wicked shall not rest upon the rock of the righteous, but the righteous will put their hands on the Lord. They have said, I will do that, you keep that in my hand. That's yes, the word of the Lord to give you. must be that opportunity to serve peace and love. I am not giving you that as you ask. So let the words of our mouth meditate on our heart to accept the nice idea of the Lord. That's it. I have the eyes to ask you. I have the eyes to ask you. I have the eyes to ask you. Give thanks. Total ital. <laughs> Total ital. It's seal up, you know? Bless it to the world. Majesty. Yeah, Lord. <laughs> Yes, blessings, people. The thing seal, you know? Yes, I am. Bless up. Total ital. Look out for the second one in three weeks. Remember that in three weeks again, 21 days, we're going to do another total ital again with some other healers as well. So give thanks, you know? Yeah, man. Give thanks to life, health, and strength. Bless it, bless it, bless it, bless it. We got some live chats and stuff. That's great. People! <laughs> yeah!